prerequisite, so you are going to want to go to Steam Modded's GitHub page, get the latest beta release or whatever is the version you're after. Scroll all the way to the bottom and get the zip folder. Same with the um, lovely injector, get the latest release, download the zip file, and then how to actually use them. Well, Steam Modded you can put in here, this is the um, location. All you do, get the zip folder, Steam Modded, and extract it right there. That's done for Steam Modded. Uh, to get the lovely injector, I do recommend grabbing Steam Oven and get Palatro and Manage and Local Files. This will just guarantee that you get the correct folder. And then the same thing, get the lovely injector version of DLL and put it right there. Now this is it. Now you are ready to start modding and to use mods. And now that you have your lovely injector and Steam Modded installed, time to get into modding. I do recommend having a new folder, let's call it maybe 101. Let's go in and let's install my sample project. So you can either get the zip from my GitHub page and extract it or just git clone the whole repo. Both work just fine. So now that we have the folder, first thing you're gonna do is figure out a name for your mod and rename the entire folder structure to use that name. It's gonna use 101 here. And then you wanna open up the 101 JSON file and let's go edit that thing. So let's rename all of these to 101. And there we go. Now this will run about this file uh, the ID and name, well that define what this mod will be found as. What your display name is, who you are as the author, you can have your own name, do remember to keep it in the brackets. Description will show the text box. Prefix will get too soon, but I don't know, for 101 maybe make it 101. For me, simple or sample joggers, I put SJ in. You need this for the localization. We'll get there eventually. Uh, main file, you wanna set up to point towards this file, the other Lua file with this guy. Uh, I don't know about priority. These ones change how your badge looks, what your version is currently in the mod and what does your mod need. For me, this is the version I made this with, so I'll just keep that in there. The main actual Lua file though, so this is what actually loads up your mod. And for now, I just set it up so it loads up every single file in the Jokers folder. At the moment, there's only one Jokers Lua file. You could have separate files for every single Joker or groups or however you want to set them up. But the way you set them up is you just define as much dot Joker and then curly brace. And that is how the game reads them. Uh, about the jokers then, uh, the newest theme modded version, it wants the sprites in atlases. Well, I just made them use the actual PNG file as the atlas. You could also throw them all into a single PNG file and then manually set where they are in there with the coordinate values. Key defines what the key is for that atlas. I just kept it same as the joker because one to one. And for the jokers, they also have a key. That is what defines what joker is it. That will be kind of like the identifier, not really the name used per se. Uh, config, this is what you can see in the UI and also what you want to have on the joker hidden. So in the back end. Uh, Lock wars is more like the front end, what you actually want to see in the user interface. This is what you will see in the card in the game. So you can throw in a variable, say ability extra chips. It will show the amount of chips and then how much it gains by the chip underscore mod. Uh, these are not hard set to specific names. You can have your own. I just gave it chips and chip mod to indicate easily that the card indeed has some chips and then how much it modifies it by for every 
uh, two rank card you play. Uh, for example, the Wii has the calculate function. This is what actually runs the Joker. If context individual, uh, the card scoring phase. So when we are scoring individual cards, one, two, three, we want to check, is it a two? And we also want to check that it's not a blueprint card. So uh, yeah, that's kind of one thing as well. Blueprint, you can set the compatibility with the guy called Blueprint Compa on the Joker. Uh, we is kind of a odd one because you do want it to be compatible with Blueprint, but not in a way where the Blueprint itself gains the chips. That's why you only want to have the um, actual Wii card gain the value of the upgrade. And yeah, just multiply it by the mod, that's it. Get the new value, and then you can return a message. So it will show it under this card, it will be green text, and the message will be this localized message. Will probably say like upgrade. Uh, moving on. Once we hop off the context individual and we move on to context joker main, so the scoring actually has been done for the cards, but now we're looking at jokers. All right, there. Then we can return the chips from this joker. These, I do think you have to use chips, mult, and axe mult. These are kind of hard coded for the game, but you can just give it your own ability values. And color as well. Well, you can have your own or use the game.colors and then there's chips and all sorts of things in there. So that's the basic setup of a Joker. Uh, this sample Jimbo's repo has quite a bunch of different cards, all kinds of functions, how to do things, simple things. But you can also go into the actual game files themselves. Because Balatro, well, the exe file is basically just a big zip folder. You can just come into Balatro X, copy that full X file. Copy that. And then let's come back here. We can paste that here and extract to Balatro. So now we have the game and it's just a folder. And now if we come back here, we can just go and see whatever the game is made out of. So, for example, if we find a Wii Joker, we can just go ahead and look for a Wii. And look at that, we can see that the Wii is indeed defined in the Balatro game, right there. So that will do the message, for example can dig through the actual game files and then you can do your own context individual stuff so you can just follow the route and build your own abilities you can just see how the game does it lucky cat you check for lucky triggers we is defined here has the same context and not blueprint i just made it a little bit different still same old stuff nothing's changed there very helpful for setting up modding to get the um, actual game files themselves. Next, let's look at localization. That's kind of the final step. You can have your own country coded localization files and then the keys. So this is where it gets kind of messy because the modder doesn't tell you this anywhere. They add a J underscore prefix and then your prefix that you set up in the 101 JSON file. And then it adds the Joker key, so to say. And that is what you need to set up as your localization Joker key, so the game can find it. And here you can have the name of the Joker and the text. And the text you can set up with these modifiers. And we can see, for example, that here is the hashtag 2 thingy right there and hashtag one so those match these whatever you give in the verse this is one this is two and they will show up in the game right here and right there 
And then you can also add colors. Colors, inactive, makes it kind of gray. Chips is green. Attention gives it like an attention thing. All kinds of thingies you can add to text in here. And there's a bunch of text effects I've dug up. So use these as you will. And there's all kinds of goodies in here. And then there's also the dictionary. You can have your own messages. You can do, for example, a custom upgrade message or something if you want. But that's about it. Well, thank you for watching and leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Happy modding!